Have you ever wondered how life insurance can be your secret ingredient to unlocking financial freedom? So what are we going to talk about? Understanding how to get multiple use of each and every dollar through the integration and coordination of your assets while creating a baseline fundamental of place in your money. So what we're really going to talk about is how to use whole life insurance to get rich and become your own bank. Master your financial freedom map. Three things, control, formula, and velocity. What is control? How do you control your money? Well, the first thing you need to do is understand where your money is, what kind of account, pre-tax or post-tax account. Can you measure it every day, and does it speak to each other? What is the formula of money? Well, to me, the formula is integration and coordination of all assets, so you're not chasing a rate of return, but you're capturing an overall rate of return through the integration and coordination of those very assets. And what is the velocity of money multiplier? Well, simply put, it's the difference between putting your money with banks or becoming your own bank. And when you become your own bank, you stay ahead of taxes, you stay ahead of fees and inflation and lost opportunity costs. Number one, who controls your money? Check out the left side, financial institutions. You contribute monthly, they keep it forever, and they control it for as long as they possibly can, giving you back the least amount as possible. So think of an IRA or 401k. You're putting money in every month from age 25 to 65, 35 to 65, 45 to 65, or in this case, 59 and a half. It grows tax deferred. If you want to take it out early, you get punched in the face. So from that perspective, they have your money. You can't use it for other investment opportunities. And it stays in jail until 59 and a half. Then you start to take distributions, but it goes in probation. Why? Because you're going to get ordinary income tax on some of those buckets. And remember, the financial institutions have their own mindset when it comes to capturing your money, whether it's an IRA, 401k, but they're also the ones to tell you to prepay your mortgage. Why? Because they get more now dollars so they can velocitize it. They also tell you the dollar cost average. Why? Because they get to manage more money all the time and they get to keep your money, control your money. And let's not forget, if it is a 401k or if it is an IRA, it's in jail, and then at 59 and a half, it goes on probation in the form of taxation on those distributions versus the person on the right side become your own bank. Well, he or she is going to pay themselves first, PYF. It's not PYT, pretty young thing. It's PYF. You invest the money because you're educating yourself. You're investing in the real estate between your ears. So now you're not just subjected to the S&P 500 or you're not just subjected to IRAs and 401ks. You're actually buying alternative investments, financing your own debt, buying other companies, or at the very least doing things that are outside of the box where you could capture multiple rates of return. And that's through leverage and control. Number two, what is your money formula? Now, Here's $20,000. I'm going to show you two ways to play with it. Opportunity cost, the next best option you're missing on based on your current choice. So let's say you want to buy a car, right? And you want to take $20,000 as a down payment on the car. Check out the left side. You're going to put $20,000 on that car. You're going to pay 6% interest. And your payment might go down a little bit because you put extra money down versus you have $20,000 to put on an investment earning a 20% ROI. Let's just play for one second and assume that investment's real estate. Well, the 20% mindset on the ROI is cash flow, mortgage interest write-off, depreciation. And by the way, if you buy a property today, you want to sell in the future at a higher price. Those are two distinct different uses of $20,000. One is what we call non-preferred debt, and the other one is what we call preferred debt. Stay tuned. Let's dig deeper into the money formula, financial opportunity cost. Money you're not earning a rate of return on because it's earning for someone else. That's important, right? It's important to know that if you're going to earn the money on your money or if some person, institution, government is going to earn that money on your money. So let's go on the left side, put 20 k and I'm not beating up the 401k and IRA. I just want you to be fully aware that that money is going to get taxed at ordinary income when you retire and it's in jail until that happens but let's play again Twenty thousand that 401k ira earning six percent taxable income you can't touch it you could borrow from a 401k to a certain amount unless you have all these different restrictions you can maybe borrow or take money out of the ira but you got to jump through hoops to get that money versus putting 20k into an account earning four percent tax free that you could access about 90 percent of it yes yes Yes, I just brought up life insurance. Yes. And I'm telling you right now, if you look at all the different buckets that are out there, IRA, 401k, life insurance, after tax, S&P fund, real estate, whatever you want to talk about, I'm not saying don't do any of those and do life insurance. 
I'm just saying invite life insurance to the party because if you do it the right way, if you overfund it and you leverage it, you'll be amazed at how your money multiplies. What does lost opportunity cost? Important folks, think of interest on that credit card. Let's say if you're paying 10,000 a year in interest, imagine if you didn't have to pay that interest or if you were earning that 10,000 for yourself because you had your own bank, financing debt. That's, you know, a car payment, your interest on a car payment, frivolous spending, wasting money just to impress the Joneses, gets to the point where you don't even know who the Joneses are. Retirement plan, including the fees, including the fact that those payments are in jail till 60 or 59 and a half, and that you don't have the ability to leverage that money and financial planning fees, which we just talked about. These are lost opportunity costs. Now, you could do insurance, you could do 401ks, you could do after-tax financial planning. All I'm saying is if you understand where these lost opportunity costs are, think of a bucket, you put all your water in the bucket, but at the bottom there's holes. Let's patch those holes up. Let's invite life insurance to the party. Number three, what is your velocity? Financial velocity. The ability to put money into an account that pays you a 4% tax-free return while allowing you to borrow the money to do additional investing and earn money in two places at once, sometimes three and sometimes four. This is why it's important from the beginning when I talked about control and harnessing your money and leveraging your money because you can start making money in five, six, seven different places. I'll teach you that later on when we have a one-on-one -on -one meeting to go over with one of the team members, but the ability to integrate and coordinate your assets is tied right into the financial velocity. As we continue with the velocity of money multiplier mindset, you need an account that delivers the following a guaranteed 2 3 4% rate of return with an annual dividend of anywhere between 1 and 3%, tax-free growth, borrow money and reinvest it while it's still growing internally, and the death benefit's important because you want to make sure no matter what age you are right now, 25, 35, 45, 55, that death benefit is reflective of your future net worth. Because all this businesses that you're buying and entrepreneurship that you're doing, you're deploying a lot of relationship, human and emotional capital that's going to show a dollar value later on. Why not let the death benefit be that now? So what is this account? It's a life insurance policy that is overfunded. Think of a cash value, high dividend paying life insurance. We know that there's a normal whole life we're talking about Supermax overfund this so you can leverage this money out into other opportunities while being able to get multiple rates of return on the same dollar bill. And that's the secret sauce on how to use this to integrate with your other assets. So check it out, folks. We, let's go back to the car scenario. If you're going to borrow $20,000 by a traditional bank at 6% over a certain amount of time frame, it's going to cost about $22,000, or in this case, $22,545. Whereas if you borrowed that same 23 year policy, you would make an extra $855 in interest by financing the car through your policy versus the bank. Now, remember, if you did it through the bank, that car is going to be worth less, right? Because the physical asset is going to go down. But borrowing through your policy, that money is going to be worth more to the tune of about 855 bucks. It's an important distinction to notice. And by the way, if you have any questions, don't forget to click the link below. One of the team members here at Epic has no obligation on your part. will take you through the success process and answer any questions you may have. So check out this diagram, folks. As you're earning 4% through your policy and borrowing it for another investment that could potentially earn about 20% and having that investment pay back your policy, well, now you're going to do a rinse and repeat model that allows you to continuously do this. And this is where we talk about compounding your overall worth or your net worth, not just one product, but because money's going in and out of assets, it's staying ahead of taxes, it's staying ahead of inflation, and it's staying ahead of lost opportunity costs. So check it out, folks. If you want to learn more about this life insurance strategy that really helps you turn decades into days and allows you to take all your different asset classes and bring them together through the integration and coordination, go ahead and click the link below. One of the team members here at Epic will take you not only through the success process, but offer you the Epic Wealth Builder. And this is a personal financial website that gives you the visibility of your whole world holistically and financially so you can make good, smart decisions. I understand where you're at. You don't have to be worth $100 million, a million, or even $100,000 to have access to this. We're here to serve you, answer any of your questions, and there's no obligations. Don't forget to like and share and continue to follow.